Hey, good morning, remote learners. Today is Friday, January the 22nd. Hope that you find your art recordings on Canvas and find some great creativity today. We want to remind you as we wrap up our civic engagement slash service learning slash volunteer week that anybody can be great because anybody can serve. You'll see more of this quote on our character awards uh, video that you'll be able to watch too. But we wanna give you one example of a fifth grader who's in Miss MG's class, part of remote learning. She went before the Board of Education last night and she presented an idea. I know the audio isn't very good, so I just want you to see that she stepped up in front of our board. There are seven elected officials, plus lots of other district officials that are there. And she presented an idea that she had heard and participated in from her previous school called the Nora Project. And so I just wanted you to see this clip. And then she's gonna share a little bit more about it. This is civic engagement. She is, has an idea and has been empowered as a leader to voice that idea and to try to share that with others. So we're really, really proud of Kara. And here's a little bit more with her sharing about that just specifically so you can hear it, okay? We want you to all celebrate the work and find ways that you can do it. Hey, remote learners, I'm here with fifth grade. Kara is gonna share a little bit about a presentation that she made to the Board of Education last night. We are so proud of her stepping up during civic engagement slash service learning slash volunteering week. She has a project that she's really passionate about and she's gonna share. So take it away, Kara. I'm a new student in Kansas, and when I was in school before the pandemic, I noticed something major. There is no interaction between children with disabilities and non-disabled children. Back in West Chicago, I was in a school that was associated with the NORA project. The NORA project didn't help there be interaction, it made interaction. How? On certain days, children with disabilities and children without disabilities would meet in a classroom and do crafts, sing songs, dance, play games, learn, watch movies, and more together. Seeing my new school without this broke my heart. Bringing the Nora Project to Kansas schools is important because the children will learn about acceptance on a personal level. Once they learn to accept the, re the relationships they will form with their buddy, new buddies will be amazing. Second step, the program we are currently using is about controlling your emotions and how to problem solve. Those second step does a minor section on empathy. The Nora Project is all about empathy and acceptance. It's a, it's a physical experience rather than a brief video. The Nora Project includes everyone to accept and to, partici to participate in fun activities as second step focuses on solving everyday relationship issues. At my previous school, we met with another class on Thursdays. In the beginning, we were partnered together with a buddy. My buddy was Oscar. Throughout the year, Oscar and I did crafts, watched movies, marched, went to assemblies, and played on the swings together. It didn't take much more than a week for me to become good friends with Oscar. After I moved away from that school, I realized how much more insightful, empathetic, understanding, and accepting I was. Spending time with my buddy was a memory I'll cherish forever, and I want other children to have that too. Amazing. Thank you so much. Miss MG, can I spotlight you? Will you share a little bit about what it was like to listen to her and be able to share in front of the Board of Education? That was such a great speech you prepared and such great stories you shared. What do you think, Miss MG? Oh my gosh, I couldn't be more proud of Kara and showing civic engagement. I think it's really hard as a kid to speak up and want to start a new program, especially in a new school and school district that you're a part of. And to be the school board to propose an idea to bring to our school district and our community took a lot of courage. So I am exceptionally proud of Kara using civic engagement and her voice to advocate for positive change here in our community. Nice job, Kara. Love it. Thanks so much, fifth grade. We love that we have such strong leaders that are empowered to share their voice and help others find theirs too. So thanks, fifth grade, for letting me jump in and do a quick recording. You guys are awesome. Have a great day, everybody. So that was Kara's story. And we just want you to remember that the time is always right to do what is right. So hope you have a great day learning, everybody. Keep up your great work. Stay brave, creative, and strong.